Raven. So I've got a couple of beauty queens here today, boy. This is my beautiful Revna. And Revna's a daughter of Luna. And Revna's just a young female. She's a replacement. And uh, her mom will have another litter yet, but uh, Revna will be stepping up and helping her mother out preserve some of these old lineages here. So this is uh, an incredible female. As you can see, Luna's about um, 10 days away, something like that, 14 days, and she'll be having a belly full. She's got a big bunch of little pups there, little Revna's in there. And so she's going to be uh, cranking out some new uh, pups here for me. We, uh, we're very, very proud of this dog right here. This is probably one of my very best females. It's, uh, it's an incredible female. You know, I'll just keep her around. You want to go see what your money's hunting? You stay by me. I want you to just, uh, stay by me right here. <laughs> go ahead, just stay by me. You get up here. Get up out here. Come here. Come around here. Come over here. Come on this side. Hey, grab me. Come here. <laughs> Come right here. Jump up here. Jump up here. Get the here. There's my girl. There's my beautiful girl. So I just had Kaliva out here, her half sister, because uh, Kaliva's a daughter of Karu as well as Rebna. And. Uh, they're both uh, incredibly beautiful females. This is uh, a little darker female. She carries that uh, older, older blood. And you get this beautiful black silver coat. This is the most striking color combination of the six. And it is absolutely insane and beautiful. This is a, a flawless dog, has no flaws. Full instinct dog. And it has everything absolutely perfect. Everything about this female. This is this would be one of the very best females in the world right here. And full hunt lines. This is a, a Ravenstone dog as well. Ravenstone bloodline in this. Um, Bram, the old Norway hunt line. He's running in here. There's Nordic champion bloodlines in here. This is the Karoo bloodline out of Finland. And of course, you've all seen Tekla, you know Tekla. Uh, Tekla's Luna's mother, and you know that I sat with Tekla when she was born. You know that I ran for the whole life with Tekla's mother camp. So this, when this pup has little babies and pip generation pups for us, I'm very proud of this dog. This is probably one of the nicest looking dogs currently available anywhere in the world. You could go anywhere. This is, this is my favorite color combination. Now, Bram and Dakota um, are interior region dogs from the old country. They're, they're interior bloodlines. The interior bloodlines are this darker uh, bloodline. They're, the coastal dogs are lighter. They're more gray. And so get this. When I brought Kaliva up, you would have saw that she was pure gray. Well, that's a combination of the show lines, and it, uh, it didn't draw as much dark out, but you bring Luna into the mix, and you get this beautiful dog. Now, Luna's got other daughters like this, and she'll bring me another one right away. Luna puts this out, and it really is uh, some unbelievable. This is one of the most unique bloodlines in, in the world, but definitely uh, by far uh, the most unique bloodline in North America. Karoo is the first time that bloodline has been brought over here. And with Bram and Dakota, Bram was only ever used in our program. So Bram was never used in another program, and he is an incredible dog. He's still running, by the way, if you can believe that. Uh, he's almost as old as Dakota. 
So these females are, are world-class dogs. Luna has always, in my mind, been one of the very best females in the world. And now Revna is, is probably going to step up and, and be just, just a fraction better, but there's, there's, no, there's no flaws in either or. They're both extremely, extremely good. Now, I don't breed to... I'm not one of these guys that breeds to try to improve. I wouldn't know how to do that. But what I do is I try to breed for exactly what they had in the old days. I don't want to change anything. And so when the association was first formed at that 1877 time frame when the boys all got together, there was about 16 of them got together there, and they came with their good dogs to talk about forming an association. All the dogs that came would look just like Revna. They would, they would be pretty much like Revna, and very few like Kaliba. Kaliba is a result of many changes to the standard, up to three different changes to the standard in breeding, primarily for a look. Uh, Kaliba is now back full hunt because of Karoo, but um, Silver Nova has primarily been uh, bred in North America and bred based on the breed standard, which has been changed three different times. So this dog is a representative of the old uh, breed standard, and she would match the original absolutely perfect. Now, this just happens to have all the latest, greatest bloodlines uh, of all the top breeders around the world, but at the same time, they were all following the same concept as me. We, we breed for instincts, we breed for capability, we breed for work, and we preserve the old lions, and we do it as best we can. And so that's, that's why this dog shows up today just exactly like they used to, and that's, that's our goal here is to breed exactly what was there. We're not trying to improve. Those dogs were, were absolutely flawless then. They're absolutely flawless now. And we just want to keep them flawless. And so all the master breeders that work with us, they help us to do that as well. They're doing the same thing. So Luna's mother, Tecla, will retire her now. She's on retirement right now. She got her fancy new harness. Uh, the other day, she hasn't had a harness on in years, but I bought her one to hang on the wall anyway. But uh, she's done. So, or I'm pretty sure she's done anyway. And so, Luna will uh, run a few more litters and preserve this old line, and then Revna will step up and take over. Now, when it comes to Luna's dad, Dakota, the beauty of Dakota is running in Revna here, and that's running with, come up front uh, Revna, Revna, come up front here, come here. just let me uh, bring her up here, come on Revna, that's like gross, so we got to, we got to keep uh, the Dakota genetics without many changes for a lot of years. Revna, you see, will only have one change. There's a change to to Luna, and then there's a change to Revna. So when when Revna has a pup, you see, it'll be almost 20 years with very few changes. So by the time she has a pup from Dakota down, will be almost 20 years. So we've we've been able to slow that way way down and uh, pretty profound, really. And if I get enough females out of Luna this round, I might take one, or I'll wait till next round, and I can slow that genetic change down even more by, uh, by taking another female out of Luna, just like Revna, and I'll have one almost identical to Revna. And if I do take another litter out of Luna, well, then I slow it down even more. So, that's the beauty of uh, running these preservation programs the way I do it, is by using the uh, genetics at their latest time. 
you have way less changes and so it keeps the breed very slow in change and it helps keep the old bloodlines easier to maintain with with less change so it's very very cool with Kaliba we slowed it way down as well because what we're doing is we're using Tico or Mon and Tico and Mon are both one generational change so when they when they uh, have a pop out of Kaliba that's only the second generational change in 20 years. They're pretty phenomenal, right? Most breeders are changing every two years. So in 20 years, they'd have 10 genetic changes. But here we do it completely different. And so as a preservation breeder, I don't want to have any genetic changes if I can, if I can keep going uh, for further distance. So this female helps me a great deal with that. And of course, Kaliba helps even more because Tico and Mon are the first, the first change from Dakota because they're both his sons and they're full siblings to Luna. So this is the opposite side. Luna and the preservation runs this way. Mon and Kaliba and Tico run the preservation on the male side. So you, you can preserve on both sides of the genetic. Even though Mon and Mona and Tico are all siblings, they each carry a little different uh, uh, genetic code. And females bring a little different code than the male does. And so when you really want to preserve, you want to have both sides. That's why this is such a phenomenal uh, uh, little female here because she allows us to keep that female side running. Now this also, of course, preserves the Bram lineage for us. The Bram lineage runs in here. And this also preserves Tecla's mother coming down, which is the Ravenstone. Luna! Luna! Luna's got a big belly. Oh my God. Isabel's waiting for... She's uh, contacting me to find out how that Luna's doing, and I told her the other night she's coming. Come on, Luna, come here. Isabel wants to see you. So Isabel's waiting for a pup. I got some other people too, but I thought of Isabel because she's waiting for a female. She wants a red mouth, right out of that dog, which I'm giving her. And uh, she's going to uh, care for that dog down there in the U.S. and raise her up and treat her good and hunt with her and hike with her. And so Luna's got a big, uh, big belly full of brand new revenants there, and uh, we've been talking to them and keeping them, uh, keeping them still and telling them to buy me. So as soon as they come out, they'll buy me. But look at this dog! Can you believe it? Oh my God! This revenant's a beautiful dog. So this dog's head will match and rival her sister's. Uh, this dog's got a better tail and a better color pattern. <laughs> Both are full instinct. <laughs> Who's that? Is that your uh, is that your little relatives in there? So yeah, I'm very proud of this dog. I'm extremely proud of this dog. This is my favorite dog. She's just a beauty queen. I'm telling you. Yeah, she can hike with me all day off lead. You saw her on the videos. She's only about a year old. And uh, just an incredible dog. So she'll help me train all these little pups. She'll help train her sisters, brothers. Oh, but uh, I want to uh, let everybody know that our, our replacements are coming. I'll showcase them and everybody can relax. We've got a continuity program going. And I want to thank everybody that comes and gets pups from us because it allows us the ability to continue this continuity and to continue the preservation because I couldn't keep all the pups obviously and so what it allows me to do is continue on with these lines and have these old lines it, it's a very fun time now Revna is kind of unique in a way too because of course 
We preserve many different lineages in our yard with one. So she also, of course, is preserving that Ravenstone lineage of Tecla's mother. So you all know that I sat with Luna when she was born. I sat with Luna's mother, Tecla, when she was born. And I hiked for the whole life of Tecla's mother camp as well. And sat with Revna, and I'll sit with Revna's daughter, and most likely 10 generations or more through Revna, because, I mean, I'll be hiking until about 160. So um, I'll have quite a few of these uh, genetics preserved. But it, it couldn't be done if nobody helped me. And so by all the master breeders working with me, and all the good folks that come and, and take pups and help me preserve, it, it's a huge deal. I mean, they could, uh, <clears throat> they could do other things. They could go to other breeders and this and that, but they want to preserve the old lines as well, so they come and they give me a hand, and it's, I appreciate it. And the elk on the world appreciates it because uh, there's not many preservation breeders left. We're a dying breed, <laughs> but not anymore, boy. We're growing now, aren't we, girls? Huh? <laughs> there's there's some serious stock around here, boy. So yeah, I got co-breeders. Uh, Wendy and Dale help me all the time. Uh, Linda's gonna give me a hand. I've got uh, Allison waiting to get going. Amy's waiting to get going. They're all just waiting on their females to arrive, and we'll be. Uh, setting up some some brand new co-breeders to help out so it's very very fun and it's exciting times so we've got uh, litters coming but I, I really want to showcase a couple of my young girls now I have another beautiful dog to show you and that's Tecla's daughter Luna's sister um, you won't believe that dog so fantastic yeah that's Varja so I have Varja to showcase too so I will bring, bring Varja up most likely uh, today uh, too. I'm hiking this afternoon, but I, uh, I, I started early enough today that uh, I'll be able to do that video out. I had uh, charged my batteries up and everything, so I'm good. But I wanted to showcase these beauty queens and, and let you see what's coming. So Luna's got a belly full of these little rascals right here. Come, come up here, Linda. Yeah. Beautiful dogs. This is a Karoo daughter, and Luna's bred to Leaf, but she had one of these. She's had a litter of Leaf already, and they were just like this. I mean, um, I think it's Artemis that uh, is up uh, with Julie. Julie and, uh, uh, gee, I can't remember uh, his name now. Forget that. But it doesn't matter. Julie has the has that beautiful female up at Barrier. And what an incredible dog. Yeah, beautiful. So there'll be dogs just like this coming out. Uh, just amazing. So yeah. Well, girls, good video. Good video. You girls are fantastic. My God. My God. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool video. I'm happy with that. You girls are rock stars. Jesus. Yeah, that should show up good.